A warm welcome to all incoming grade 8 students of the 2020-2021 school year. Here's a sneak peek of what life will look like in the fall. Let's begin! I know from Riverdale, Ellendale, Jorth, maybe Holly, I am so excited for you guys in this new adventure that you have going to high school and especially Guilford Park. Um, as some of you guys know, I know some of the school staff here and I even had the opportunity to volunteer as a coach here and it is an awesome school. It's a safe place for you guys to come and to continue to become the person that you want to be and also to know that high school is just a short adventure and like a long adventure called life, right? And so it's a great time for you guys to make good choices, um, to step out of your comfort zone. Uh, as people say, um, anything worth doing it doesn't come easy, right? So um, you might be a little bit afraid to try out for that sports team or try a new club or get some tutoring for English or math um, or make new friends, but I encourage you to step out of your comfort zone, to be brave and to just enjoy this adventure um, called high school. Hey, I'm EJ David. I'm the youth outreach worker here at Guilford Park. Uh, you'll see me here all day long from breakfast, lunch, and after school. Uh, but typically you'll see me in the community building and you'll see me in the gym playing basketball every single day. So, thanks. Hey, my name is Amelia. I'm one of the outreach workers at Guilford Park. I'm really excited to see all of you in September. Um, things are going to look a little different, but we're still super excited for you to get to know our school. You can find me alongside EJ and Rendell and Miss Woodrick in the community building um, and in the hallways around school. So can't wait to meet y'all. Uh, my name is Randall Pleitez. I'm a youth outreach worker for the district. Um, I go in a lot of different schools, but I do spend a lot of my time here in Guilford Park. My job is mainly to make sure the school is safe. Um, so if you ever worried about anything, you can always let me know. Um, also, if there's any just kind of uh, social, emotional, anything you guys have going on with, just come to visit me. We always keep it chill, calm, and um, yeah, we're always here for you. Thank you. always want to make sure that you have a lock on the door for the lockers but if you come over here we have your change room area here for the girls where there are lockers and benches so this is where you'll change into your PE strip and then there are bathrooms here just in case you want privacy when you change and then if you come over here right after you're done changing you get to the big gym. Well, this is the big gym. This is where you guys play basketball, your volleyball, your badminton, your PE classes. Everything is done here. Uh, big assemblies are done here. Uh, pep rallies are done here. And yeah, this is where you'll find me because I'm the basketball coach. And all of the assemblies are done here. If you guys want to come after school, there's always a game going on, whether it's basketball. At lunch, we have intramurals, so they do hockey and soccer and all the other stuff. And uh, finally, we got a lot of running here. We do the beep test. Uh, we also do a, a bunch of different series of fitness tests here. Um, but don't worry, your coaches and your teachers will make it as fun as possible. Back to you, EJ. This is the woodshop room. This is a place where you are going to be doing various projects um, from little boxes to little burning projects up to a little side table that you guys will be making for our community building. So make it nice. Hi guys, this is the Auto Body Shop. Um, this is our GP project car that we've been working, the students have been working really hard on. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff, as you can see around in this room. Um, and if you have any other questions, of course, you can always find me 
Yeah, super fun. There's all these different types of electives you can take once you get to the older grades. So, yeah. somewhere quieter to work in maybe a small group um, all these tables are here for you which is really cool because it's grade 12 classrooms grade 8 classrooms grade 11 and 9 classrooms and then everyone comes together to have quiet so we kind of the grand hall area so uh, here's the science class we do a lot of fun science things here um, we got the brain, uh, we learn all about the different parts, the reptilian brain, our, our modern brain, um, but even more than that we also do chemistry, uh, so we learn all about our body chemistry, chemistry of different animals, the nerves, uh, a lot of fun exciting stuff, even if you just look around the room, uh, we have all these uh, chemical compounds everywhere, um, which you'll all be learning about, uh, it's really, yeah, really great fun exciting things. photography room and um, this is also where they do the yearbook so when you're in grade 11 and 12 you actually get to design your own yearbook and that will be sold to all of the students to keep all your memories from high school nice and safe um, but there are also a ton of computers in this room because this row of hallway or like the robotics and computer and photography hallway um, and there's a lot of really fun stuff that they do the upper C wing. This is where all the socials classrooms are, all of the English classrooms, the French classrooms, so language arts um, and social studies are all up here. So if you come on down the hallway, there are bathrooms on this side. There are a bunch of different classrooms and we have a lot of student support here as well. So one-on-one -on -one uh, teacher time. This is also where our Growing Together program is um, for the young moms and um, English classrooms. And then if you go a little bit further, there's another exit where you can go down to the lower C wing um, through a staircase. So this is the lower C wing. This is where all the math classes are, all of the pre-calculus, calculus, foundations of math, um, and a couple other English classes are down here too. Hey, this is the foods room. Uh, you guys will be in here with most of your classrooms. Uh, you guys will be doing demos here, and then you guys will also be in groups managing the kitchen. Uh, hopefully you guys like cleaning because you guys will be doing a lot of that as well. So. Well, don't worry, there's a lot of uh, cooking involved too. Uh, we do a lot of uh, cupcakes, cookies, cinnamon buns, pizza. Everybody loves pizza. Um, and uh, of course you get to eat the food as well. This is our textiles room and Miss Louie is here and she's going to help you in your grade 8 year make a backpack which is really exciting. So there's a bunch of sewing machines, you'll get to learn how to make them and then when you get to the older grades you get to make your own clothes. This is our counseling room, we have four amazing counselors who are here, we have Miss Adams, we have Miss Hacker, Miss Misselbrook and Miss Carlson. And they're all here to help you with anything that you need, student related, personal related. Um, if you want your courses changed, these are the people that you go to. If you have anything to talk about, these are the people you go to. And if you need anything like sanitary products, any uh, support financially for your family or um, anything, really, you just come here and you ask them and um, they're really open and willing to help with anything that you need. And you can sit here just like our good friend Kefri is, um, waiting to speak with a counselor. And that is that. 
Hi guys, this is the career room. Uh, we have a very lovely Miss uh, Fowler here. She'll help you with all you need. She's actually been a GP uh, for many years and took on a new position here. Um, so she's very familiar with the school and programs that they have. Uh, District-wide, there's a lot of programs that can help you with tuition. I know you guys are young, so you're probably not thinking, most of you probably not thinking all the way of what you can do after just yet, but this is a good place to just come, chill out and explore. Yeah, this place is called the Fishbowl, which is really nice. So it's all windows cool place to chill during lunchtime, and uh, yeah, if you ever want to get a job when you turn 15, this is the spot. My name's Jeffrey, I'm one of the SSLs here at Guilford Park, and I'm going to show you guys how to open your lockers. It's going to be on a random number here, say 34 here, and to reset it, you're going to want to spin it to the right past zero three times. Then you want to, once you get to zero, you're going to turn it right straight to your first number, which is 29 in this case. Then for the second number, you're want to, going to want to turn it left, but you're going to go past the second number one time, and then you'll end up with the second number, which is 35. And then you're going to spin it to the right straight to the last number, which is 13. And then it will open, and then you'll be able to access your locker that way. This is the library here at Guilford Park. This is where you'll be able to come and find any book that you might need and check them out. We have all types of books here. We have graphic novels to educational books. And this is where you will come to sign out your books. They also have computers and tables here for workspaces. Sometimes you'll find your class comes here to get some work done. And once you're old enough and you have a spare block, you'll be able to come here and study. You can also come in here at lunch and get work done. As well, there's a homework club after school Tuesday to Thursday where you can also come and get work done. Miss Colleen. Um, we also have uh, Miss Gail here. They'll help you uh, anything um, ABED related. They got a lot of support. Um, in this little room over here, we have Miss Parmar and Miss Woodrig. Um, they helped uh, for the grade 10 transitions and also uh, for the youth social emotional stuff. So it's a really good place, safe space. Almost feel welcome to come here. here as well. Um, this is also where we do the lunch program so whenever you are um, at school and you don't have a lunch and maybe you don't have enough money to pay for lunch, um, you come through those doors, you line up right here and then we serve you lunch here. Um, nice and hot food from their cafeteria and then you go on your way to go hang out with your friends at lunchtime. Um, if you come through this door, we have two gender neutral washrooms, this one here and this one here. And then you enter our kitchen and chill area <laughs> with all of our yeah. other youth workers. <laughs> it's a little messy right now, but uh, this is where we serve breakfast. Um, kids come and they work with us one-on-one -on -one during class time um, in this area. And um, it's open at lunchtime if you want to come chill here as well. And then just through these doors are our offices, but they're far too messy to show you right now. Um, yeah, anything else you want to add? Oh yeah, we always have snacks here for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and again, super calm, chill space. You just need a second to come, recollect your thoughts or anything. Just come see us. Um, every one of us will always be happy to help you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also during lunchtime we have intramural soccer just on the other side oh, yeah. of the over here. Um, so <laughs> during lunchtime it is pretty chaotic in here. It's lunchtime and soccer time. So yeah, yeah. you're in here, you're in here for you're in here for a treat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is definitely the coolest place to be in this school. Just because of us, right? Right, right. <laughs> Uh, this is EJ David, another out the youth youth worker here. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tour and here are the rest of my fellow colleagues. I'm Amelia, I'm another outreach worker here. We're really excited to have you. I'm Rendell Pleitez, I'm an outreach worker for the district, but I spend a lot of my time here. Hi, I'm Kefri, I'm one of the safe school liaisons here at Guilford Park. Looking forward to meeting you guys next year and making sure you stay out of trouble. Yeah, welcome to GP. Hello, my name is Brian Tate, the proud principal of Guilford Park Secondary. I wish I could be doing this in person, 
and welcoming our grade seven and our new students to Guilford Park. We believe that it's the best school in Surrey. We are entering a school that everyone does matter. That's our motto. I hope that you have a great summer and can't wait to meet you in person. Take care and see you in September.